Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today, we have some exciting news for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. Linus Torvalds has just announced the first release candidate for Linux kernel 6.7, and it's packed with a multitude of new features and improvements. I'm going to take you through the key highlights of what to expect in this upcoming release. Linux kernel 6.7 is shaping up to be a major milestone, with a slated final release date at the end of December 2023 or early January 2024. This release boasts an impressive 15.4K non-merge commits, making it the largest merge window to date. Linus Torvalds has shared some insights into the developments, and we can't wait to see what this release has in store. One of the standout features of Linux kernel 6.7 is the introduction of the BCA Chefs file system. Positioned as a copy-on-write POW file system, it aims to rival the capabilities of BTRFs and ZFS while maintaining the speed and performance of EXT4 and XFS. This addition is a significant step forward in providing Linux users with more options for file system management. Linux 6.7 brings a plethora of networking updates, including support for GRO decapsulation for IPsec ESP and UDP, USEC resolution of TCP timestamps, TCP authentication option, TCPAO, and more. These enhancements not only improve existing functionalities, but also introduce new capabilities like MCTP over I3C support. The fair queuing FQ packet scheduler has received notable upgrades, including built-in three-band priority and WRR scheduling. BTRFS, EXT4, XFAT, and F2FS file systems have all received attention in this release. Highlights include RAID Stripe Tree for BTREFs, improved multi-block allocator for XT4, and expanded support for XFAT with IOC tells and a new zero size deer mount option. These updates contribute to better performance, reduced file deletion times, and optimized handling of data blocks. Hardware support is a crucial aspect of any kernel release, and Linux 6.7 does not disappoint. It promises enhanced support for AMD platforms, new sound chip compatibility, updates for Qualcomm and Intel platforms, and support for various USB Type-C additions. Additionally, new features for specific platforms like the AMD OMMU, MLogic C3, and S4 SoCs, and Intel Lunar Lake are included, showcasing the commitment to keeping the kernel compatible with a diverse range of hardware. Linux kernel 6.7 introduces several architecture-specific updates, Rust support has been upgraded to Rust 01.73.0. ARM64 support has expanded with new HWCAP definitions, and there is now support for the Ampere Soxy PMUs. The Risky v architecture receives numerous additions, including support for CBO.0, CBOs on ACPI-based systems, and a virtualized SBI debug console for Risk v on KVM. Security and performance are always top priorities for the Linux kernel. In this release, AppArmor gets initial support for mediating I.O. Euring and users creation, along with optimizations to address performance bottlenecks. Crypto support sees the addition of a new virtual address-based LSK Cypher interface and improved AES XTS performance. Additionally, Linux 6.7 enables IBT by default if it's also enabled in C, contributing to enhanced security. The final release of Linux kernel 6.7 is expected at the end of December 2023 or early January 2024. Linus Torvalds may announce seven release candidate versions, leading to a potential release on December 31st, New Year's Eve, or eight release candidates, pushing the release to January 7th. Early adopters can download the first release candidate, RC1, for testing but it's important to note that pre-release versions are not suitable for use on production machines. In conclusion, Linux kernel 6.7 is shaping up to be a significant update, bringing a host of new features, improvements, and enhanced compatibility with a wide range of hardware. The dedication to refining file systems, boosting networking capabilities, and ensuring security and performance optimizations reflects the ongoing commitment of the Linux community to deliver a robust and versatile operating system. As we eagerly await the final release, I encourage all Linux enthusiasts to explore the first release candidate, provide feedback, and be a part of the collaborative effort that makes Linux such a powerful and dynamic open source project. 
Stay tuned for more updates on Linux Kernel 6.7. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for all things Linux and open source.